you, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's YouTube video, we're gonna talk about rotational shot put. It is really, in my opinion, it is the absolute future. If you look at the men's level, top 32 men in the world this year, there was not one single glider. Every single one of them would have broke the championship record. Rotational throwing is where it's at. You're gonna see that in the women's shot put as well. So one of the things we wanna do in today's video is we were gonna talk about the rotational throw. How do you learn the rotational shot in as little as a day? Well, that's where we come in, obviously, we teach our throwing chain reaction system. We're breaking down the throw so that throwers understand exactly what needs to be done. And we break that two seconds roughly, what we call into six pillars. Each pillar represents a location in the ring, your specific objectives. And then of course, there's the position motor learning movement that needs to be done. One of the core things that we wanna help people understand with is how you're going to learn it fast is simply understanding how to get in balance. And that's where we discuss in the critical importance of what we call our pillar one, two, and pillar entry into three. Those key pieces of the throw is where we're basically moving. We're setting up our throw and we're moving here. And you're going to notice how I do that. I'm going to move on bounce. Now, recently I came across some videos and I was looking at some things because we always try to put out content that is going to help throwers and coaches better understand. We want to get you on the right direction. And again, for those of you that really want to do things and really make an impact, click the link below and get some information on the system because we will take everything we talk about in these videos and we will go into big time detail and give you the exact drills and formula and how to put it all together and make those big movements. So if we were going to have to learn and we had to give you three simple things to kind of learn the rotational shot in a day to get generally on balance, what it would be. Now, one of the four first things is, is that we're going to be understanding how we have to be moving the arm opening around and the problem and the dangerous aspect when you're teaching that is that you don't move the body. So that's going to, that's going to be a real simple thing. Thing. Don't open the body, open the arm. Um, we want to see this kind of here. So you're seeing, see how I'm getting out that nice wide sweep. So that's going to be one of the core things we're going to do. Number two is because of that, right? You're going to see how I'm moving the shot around. And the goal in the rotational shot is going to be to be generally what we teach and advocate is to learn it a day is to basically try to keep the hips level and the shot level so you can come through and feel how to rotate better. Remember with the shot, we're going to be moving down into the power position and we're going to be loading the legs and when we have more of that leg load we're going to be able to rotate easier into our delivery and be able to smash the shot so a couple of the big mistakes that throwers make is they're trying to stay closed too soon they're staying too high and this is where they can't get their hips around and throw. So the key thing that we're gonna tell you to recommend, remember that the rotational shot or spin shot is more rotational than the discus because the ball's here and you're trying to, how you're gonna be moving that, stay level and we want you to get on balance. And that's gonna be the core thing. When we set up and we get on balance, we're gonna be able to move around. If we stay level and we load the legs, you're gonna notice how I'm gonna be able to move. So these are some really simple tips. Again, in our system, we'll go through 40 different drills that would actually break this down in detail. Detail. We would still move our throwers through it pretty fast when people come to our throwing camps. Most will have a ton of throwers at our camps as you're going to notice how you're going to see so many athletes going and learning in, in, a, in a matter of hours. That means within a matter of a couple of practices, you should be able to adequately move through a full throw in the rotational shot. But if you're focusing and learning the right things, it's quite simple. We show it over and over and over and over and over that that is possible. And we've done camps now all over the United States. In Australia, we've seen the same thing. This one day to throw farther. That's the whole objective. Remember, if you don't have a system, if you don't have a process to help you get the most out of every day that you spend in the circle trying to learn to throw further, you're wasting valuable time and you could be getting much more out of your efforts. And that's what we have the Throwing Chain Reaction System for. So click that link below. We're trying to help the sport. We want to see more coaches and throwers do bigger things, achieve their potential. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And we will see you on the next video. So if I could tell my 17-year-old self and 21-year-old self and 25-year-old self something, what would it be? Somebody asked this question, what would I say to basically my high school, college, and post-college?